Hey guys, Bretto here. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to those few that have joined us already and put in a few chats. Hopefully you guys can see it in our little live chat thing there on the screen. But um, welcome Street Cleaner Mitch Simmons and Roddy Wainscott. Um, I've seen my summer car. I did actually buy it a long time ago and played it a little bit and just... I don't know, it wasn't much in the way of tutorial or showed you what you needed to do. You sort of had to learn it yourself and I was a little bit frustrated and annoyed with it. And, um, got a refund on it and just haven't played it since, so I don't think I will be going in my summer car, unfortunately. If there's any other games you want to see, you know, let me know. But today we're here in the Lunar, Lunar Bow, or Lunar Bow, which we have named Ghost. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of trawling. As you can see, I've still got, I've got some fish on board from mucking around off camera without other people being around. Um, we've got our four workers here. We're in the captain's seat already. With our captain's clothes on, or not our captain's seat, but our trawling seat. Um, so what we're going to do is set the nets, set to trawl. Going to put in a little bit of speed over here. Slowly start to go, and we will set the trawl nets. Uh, <laughs> this is yeah, this is so much harder than real life for sure. Um, I don't know much about trawling. I have watched a few tutorials on YouTube. Um, Jaxie Beard's got a really good one, which, um, look at that, straight on the fish. Beautiful. Um, where he lets out, say, this this one over here, the green one, the starboard door, he lets it out to 80 and lets the uh, port door out to 100, which seems to work pretty well. So we're going to do that. We just need to make sure we're not driving too quick. But look at that, we're on the bloody fish already, which is good, which this doesn't usually happen. And our net is filling very, very quickly. But that won't last long, I don't think. So how you guys been? Hopefully you guys have been good. Hopefully you're uh, um, going to enjoy a little bit of fishing Barrett Sea tonight. I might um, play this for a little while, take a little bit of a break, and then come back with some more Kingdom Come Deliverance later on. A game that I'm absolutely bloody hooked on. It's been pretty awesome. Alright, so this one's getting ready to hit 80 length the starboard door so we'll stop that line now so that's 80 this one will take up to 100 hopefully that'll help us we're trawling along at 3.3 .3 knots at the moment so we're not going too quick we're going pretty decent speed I think once our nets fill up it's gonna um, slow us down a little bit more of course so we're at 80 and 100 now with our with our length so our port door is down a little bit lower than our starboard door. Back on the fish again, which is good. Um, I wonder... Um, no, not the hock, not the, the flow. No, not that either. I think, I can't remember what I used to have there. Oh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So 80 to 100, we've got oh, just about 40% full on our nets. So we'll let the boat go for a little while. I will run through here to our captain's seat. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this boat at all. And I will flick through these screens. Um, what else is there? Sonar. Go and pass it again. Oh well. I might put the sonar on this one. And the catch there, so you can see here, I think we're, yeah, we're starting to go backwards, got too much weight in the net. So you can see here, um, it's probably easier if you actually get out of the seat, get a bit closer look. So you can see here, we've got the distance there, um, the depth of both doors, trawl speed and the symmetry. So our trawl speed's still pretty low, so we really need to get this speed of the ship up a little bit. And then you should see, once this little, get out of the seat again, once this little bit in um, the middle here goes green, that's an optimal, you know, net setup. So we're still not quite green yet. So it looks like we need to be a little bit deeper. Looks like we're trawling a little bit too quick now. So might just back it off a little bit. There we go. 
I think we're on any fish at the moment. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the boat, so we've got the captain's chair here, um, our skipper's chair. Um, around here we've got like a little crew sitting area. We've got um, Thoros personal only, which we can't go in there, even though we're the bloody captain. Um, a door to go outside, of course. We've got our kitchen area and um, our workstation. A bit of storage, closed storage, I guess. Um, our trawling seat and fire extinguisher just in case. That's about it. Not a great deal. Um, I want to get these guys off idle. Give us a bit more speed. Move away from those seagulls because they're bloody loud. Um, there we go. Still need a bit more speed. It's not really picking up very quick. Um, so Ronnie said, waiting for the next iRacing season. Um, yeah, Car Mechanic Simulator is awesome, Ronnie. I absolutely love that game. Um, I didn't get a great view count when I did my first series initially. Um, but, I mean, give it a crack. Some people out there have got huge views on their um, Car Mechanic Simulator stuff, especially if you're going to use some modded stuff. That'll be the way to go. Um, so this is out the back, the trawling area. Unfortunately, we can't get out there to have a good look. Come back to the side, around to the front, um, and Ronnie's new flight sim content. Yeah, I think there's a new flight sim coming out, isn't there? Or is it out already? To be honest, I've never played flight sim stuff. It just, um, not that it doesn't interest me, it just takes a long time to get from place to place, which is something I don't have a lot of all the time. I've been getting a little bit more time recently to game, which has been good, but... So this is the front area um, with our crane here, which picks up the pump, which I can't see where the pump actually is. Um, I don't know. Anyway, the crane at the back picks up the nets. Uh, this crane will pick up the pump, they'll join together, and then they will start pumping the fish out into the boat, into the hold below. I'll just press V to go straight back in. We're still not going very quick. Go back to our seat around the back here. Let's see what we've got going on. Still not trawling very fast. Sitting at about 40%. Hopefully we can pick some of this up. That'll be good. It's getting closer to it. You can see it's going from 81 to 80. So it's coming this way towards us. Um, 3.2 degrees. Is that? That's no, coming up as well and going to the right. So. Hopefully we're going to pick this up pretty quick. We'll get out of this and just drop the speed back a little bit. I'm sure we're not going too quick. Come on, we need to pick some of this up. This is what really annoys me about this game and frustrates me. You, got, you can see this sonar here is fish. There's fish here, but we're not getting anything in the nets. Now why? Why aren't we getting anything in the nets? Like, surely we should be getting something. Um, head rope depth. See, like it's... I, I just don't understand it. I don't know if this is optimised or not, but it is very, very frustrating. We don't want the flow. Tension. We don't want tension. We don't want tilt. I can't remember what I usually bring up. We don't need length. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting fish. Took a while, but we're slowly getting it. Let's, um... Bump the speed back up a little bit. Now we've got none. See, that's just that's a short amount of time we're getting fish, which is oh, I don't know, it's frustrating. All right, let's um stop the boat. Let's bring these nets in. Let's get ready to haul the nets up. These bloody things are so noisy. So you'll see. Um, once this gets they both get to below 25, we can haul these nets in. Uh, with the planes I fly, it's even better. Check out some of, my, of mine, they're chopped so you get to where you're going faster. Um, yeah, Ronnie, I'll definitely check it out. I usually watch most of your videos anyway, so you guys that are in a live stream and haven't seen Ronnie's stuff, go and check out his channel, and if you like it, hit that sub button for him. Um, you can customise your ship a little bit, like we can change, shit we're going backwards, flying backwards, you can change your ship name, um, 
which we have here at the front, it's called Ghosts. Um, and you can upgrade your ship, so you can upgrade your engine, um, your storage, and all that sort of stuff. But that's about it for customization at the moment. And I really hope we'll get some new boats. Um, these are actually based on real life boats. I think this Lunar Bow and the Hermes as well. I think, actually, I think they're all based on real life boats. So I don't think they want you to customize them too much. But um, if we can get some boats that um, the developers just design themselves, then maybe they'll allow us to fully customize these things. All right, so shut him down. Yeah, this one's out every Friday. Well, Friday night for me, so it might be Friday morning for you, I think. So you can see our workers are at the front here. The crane's here ready to go with the pump on it. You can see our nets are slowly being dragged in, so there's still a fair way out. slow right down shut him down which you should have shut down already hopefully it won't be too far away to drag it in so here comes the doors so they'll come and jump back on the back of the boat then this crane will magically pick up the uh, the net the net will join to the front here as well so we'll raise this one, it lowers this one, which will get all the fish to run down into the front of the net, and then this will get in the water and start pumping the water and the fish into the boat. So you can see at the moment we've got 80,000 tonnes of fish on board, which I, you guys can't see, but we've got uh, about 60,000 pollock and 20,000 mackerel. Here you go, we've got 62,000 pollock and 51,000 mackerel that time. So that's bumped us up a fair bit. It's about 193,000. Um, so what I'm going to do is get them both back on, all of them back on set trawl. Um, I might change our heading. We're heading southwest at the moment. So I might fling us around to the left here and start to head south. And obviously it'll slow us right down before we go to set our nets. Or set the, the one net, I should say. So I want to come to a complete stop. Set the net so it just drops straight down. Power right back just to try and stop this boat as quick as we can. Alright, now I'll go in and I'll set the net. I'm going to hold down on the arrows to try and get the nets as deep as possible. And do the same again, do um, 80 and 100. Or maybe even, maybe 70, 90, we'll see how we go. It's a little bit of fish there. It's just not right where we want it to be. Hopefully it's going to help us to get um, that hexagon shape into the green and a little bit better. I'm not sure what the symmetry is. I don't think anyone's really worked out the symmetry yet on the net, so... Just going to have to wait and see what happens. So, I'm going to keep holding down on the arrow to try and continue to get the net to go down. Now we're going to have to push forward. Not sure how far forward we're going at the moment, but... Uh, stop this one. We're very slow forward because there's fish there. As you can see, not much, but we're picking up a little bit. Six, so the highest number here you can get is a nine, which now it's going to zero, of course. So we didn't get much fish in that one. Getting ready to stop this other side. There we go, 80 and 100 again. Still gaining speed. We need to slow down a little bit. Alright, we'll go around this side and have a look. Ooh, it's red. It's only because of our speed that it's red. Otherwise, it would be pretty good, I think. Yeah, the trawl speed is up high. The symmetry is pretty good. Come on.
time I'll slow down a bit and we'll um, try and get this to where we want it to be. Less than three knots. How's that? So that's perfect. You want it all green. It's exactly what you want to see. And of course, now it's drop. I'll wait till we slow down about two and a half knots. And I'll press up once. There we go. Um, we can go back to cooking. You guys can all just bum around. Actually, you can go to repair. I skipped through a fair few months um, to bring up the mackerel um, breeding season. So from the 1st of August to the 31st of October so that's why we're getting so much mackerel at the moment but there's a low haddock demand but we can only catch pollock and haddock with this ship anyway so but I do want to get the Hermes as quick as we can I've still got 13 million dollars worth of debt so um, you see we've got nearly four and a half million here oh come on this should be a good catch here if we can get get into this which we should be able to See, that should be going up now. There's no reason why we're not catching fish. There we go. And this is what you want to see. Like, once it goes dark like this and you see this, you know it's a thick school of fish and they're all going straight in our nets and our catch here is going through the roof, which is great to see. But not for long. Um, can we go length? Uh, where are we? distance between the doors okay 157 meters apart and that's the opening I think 46 meters wide well that's it there too so yeah it's the same all right we're starting to slow down a little bit so we need to give us a little bit more speed yeah we've got more fish in our net that's sort of dragging us backwards so get that speed up a little bit Try and hold it around about there. 2.8 knots. Didn't get a lot in that catch, unfortunately. There's not a great deal we can do about it, except hope that we get um, get a better one this time if we can catch or we'll find some fish anywhere. So it is a very long process. It can be boring at times. There's still nothing at all. That's it's really annoying. See, I think um, what I've found is probably best is to drop the net, catch a bit, in, out, in, out a lot. But that's that's also frustrating. There's no reason why we shouldn't be getting a lot more fish than this. Um, another person I've seen has what he does is he just he just holes ass. Yeah, you know, he gets up as fast as he can go and he just hammers it, which the net opening reduces a lot. But, I don't know, it seems to work for him, so we can try that, see what happens. But she's finished cooking, so we'll have everybody have something to eat. She's still repairing, she's pretty good actually, so she can have something to eat as well. Keep everybody fed and happy, hopefully. Yeah, it does, Ronnie, yeah, yeah. The models are pulled with the fish in the net, and also now we're going faster, our opening narrowed a lot but now it's slowly starting to get back out to where it should be and it's sort of coming in and out I think um, how are the seas now when the seas get rough when you're really getting rocked backwards and forwards like you can see the speed will be like say two knots and then as you get rocked it'll slow down to zero and then once you come back down the wave it'll go back up to two again so I tend to go with the waves or against the waves either way not sort of having the waves come side on that way you can try and keep your wave at the wave keep the um, everything at around about the same same speed so we go we got a little bit more fish in there again we're still getting more which is good so you can just just let it go and just not worry about it. but I have had an issue before where I dropped I was doing like 25 knots drop the net and just kept going and the net was sitting above the water like up here it was even in the water so you've got to be pretty careful. There's no real optimal way to do it, I don't think. Uh, 
Um, yeah, it is pretty cool, actually. It is. It's good to see that they've actually thought a lot about it and actually try to get it as realistic as possible. I mean, it could be a little bit more realistic, but um, yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. I know you guys have got the chat over here, so you can't see all the schools of fish, but you sort of can see the gist of what's going on like this. Is, these are our two doors, and our net is in here somewhere. Um, so the height of our net is 419. So 519 metres is the height. Opening is 38 metres wide, and clearance 381 metres off the bottom. So you really need to be getting this. This is what we want. You can turn the boat towards schools of fish, but I've never found that um, as a way that actually helped me catch anything, to be honest. Looks like we might, if we're lucky, we might grab some of this. There we go, for what these, these absolutely chock a block. See what happens. Up to six. Can we get up to a nine? I want to see a nine. Ah, oh, see, this goes from six to zero, then to five. It's just, I don't think it's quite optimised properly yet. I have opted into the beta as well, so hopefully the new update soon will be much better than this. But it's pretty um, annoying at the moment the way things are. Um, let's reel our nets in. Keep ourselves at the same speed. Maybe drop the throttle a little bit so we're just sort of going forward but not very quick. Still, it's going to start to pull us backwards pretty soon. There we go, that's, that's us, like nearly full throttle, and we're still getting pulled backwards slowly. Alright, so we're going to have this reel in. Everyone should be resting or eating. They're finished eating. There we go. So we've still got 600 tons of free space available, and we've still got another upgrade to go um, with our ship as well, or our boat, whatever you want to call it, to um, get the full storage unlocked. But I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that because it's 10 million. So that 10 million we can use to put towards the um, Hermes, which is the same as the trawling um, ship as well, but catches more than just mackerel and pollock like this does. It'll catch um, haddock and cod and redfish as well. So it'll catch all five. I think. Actually, maybe it doesn't catch mackerel. But I know it catches the other four anyway, so... Alright, so we'll see the same again. We can probably... Oops. Jump out of our seat. Probably stand up here and actually watch. You'll see everything start to come in. Also, we can't jump and stand on the table. But um, see, so the ship's modelled off a of real life, the real life lunar bow, so it's pretty good. All right, come on. They're slowly getting reeled in. Right about eighty percent. So I think we got a hundred thousand kilos out of the last one. So hopefully we get more this time. So you can see the. The two doors come in, you can see the net getting lifted up there. If we come up towards the front, which we can't actually run, but it looks like he's running. Um, you see that pump getting lowered down, which we might actually have to go outside to have a proper look at this. Lower that down into the water. So that's pretty much getting into the water, so the fish will run from there down, and water and the fish will get pumped out into the ship. And then we'll see what we get. If it doesn't freeze, there we go. 61,000 and 39,000. 49,000, I should say. So that's, what, 110,000 we got that time. We've still got a little bit to go. Um, Mitch said the new boat is awesome. Yeah, I've, I've seen it in action. Um, I didn't even want to get the boat, to be honest. I wanted to just use this because I like the idea of having a really long, stable boat. Whereas the Hermes looks, to me, the Hermes looks bloody stupid. And it looks really unsettled in the water, but you know, it's going to be a lot better, I think, to make money, especially when it's cod season. Um, and I have heard rumors that there's a sixth boat that you can unlock, but I'm not sure how or where to unlock it from, so. Let's 
Right, so we'll head east. We will drop the speed right back again. I might drop the nets not quite as low this time. Or not quite as much length in the nets, I should say. Maybe, um, say 65 and 85. See how that goes. So you've obviously got the game then, have you, Mitch? Or have you just seen it, seen um, other people using it on YouTube as well? I do know with a new boat, you obviously you got to machine gut the fish as well. You got to freeze them and stack them as well. So it's a lot more than just pumping it into the boat and selling it. So wait for this to get to 65. The other one will go to 85. We'll get all these guys out of here so they can go back in there and rest away. Try and slow our boat down a little bit. Um, no, the Hermes isn't. No, the Hermes is the new one. Next um, one up, the trawling fish. I think it was um, Vebeki Catherine, I think it's called. The old one that we had. Um, the other red and white one. Same colour. The Hermes is just a lot bigger. And it's a trawling boat, not... Um, net or hook like we had before in our last boat all right so that's in let's go and see how the spring looks we're still trawling too fast but everything else is okay like we still need a bit more depth all right oh, yeah no it's definitely the game is definitely worth buying I mean it's not that expensive um, for some people, some people will think it's bloody boring, and you know, each to their own. You know, I know people that don't even like um, Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I absolutely love that game. So it's just we're all different people. We all enjoy different different things. So you know, you play whatever makes you happy. So I'm only bringing this to the channel because I know a lot of people have actually enjoyed this game, enjoyed my series of it so far. And I knew a few people would enjoy the live stream. And I enjoy playing it as well, but if no one wanted to watch it, I would still play it anyway. I play it for myself, but you know, I like the idea of bringing it to my channel for those people that can't afford to buy the game or are not sure on the game. At least they can see it, see how it works, and then decide what to do for themselves. See, our net opening is pretty big here. We just need some more depth. How's um how's the chat box here? Is it big enough or is it too small? Is it okay to read in game or you prefer to use the um like the chat box off to the right hand side of the the actual game footage itself? I think I've got this here for those people that don't get to watch the live stream but want to watch this later on, so at least they know what I'm talking about and who I'm talking to. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, I might slow the boat right down. and let these back out let's drop it down I think let's try 120 and 150 do deeper yeah that's what she said Ronnie <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna go deeper for sure just try and try 120 150 and see what happens you're gonna buy Astro first I don't even know what Astro is you might have to enlighten me as to what Astro is. But we're getting a bit of fish now, but I think we're going backwards. There we are, we're going backwards. See, we're going backwards and we're still getting fish. How does that make sense? Anyway. Okay, awesome. Just makes it easier for those people that obviously are going to watch it later on. Um, this boat is a pelagic trawling boat, so they, they're not a, a boat that sends a ne the net really deep. 
so that's the reason why I haven't been doing it um, overly deep but how are we going for speed wise not too bad we'll bump it up a little bit jump back out of that seat I'll have a look up here so that's actually pretty good that is really good maybe the distance between doors is a little bit too much and this trawl speeds a little bit high of course Ah, oh, right, I want it, Ronnie. Yeah, it's a little bit small for me on my OBS screen, so I was just wondering how it was for you guys watching it live. Because I've got the triple screens, as most of you guys know. I've got on the left screen, I've got um, my OBS where it shows I'm streaming and I can adjust everything on the screen. And on the right monitor, I've got the um, live stream as well, which I've got the live stream chat and the footage and whatever else. And the middle screen is um, the game, of course. So now we're just. There's like absolutely nothing around. Absolutely nothing around. Try and drop the speed of the boat a little bit. Starting to slow down. Hopefully, not too much. We hold around two and a half knots, I'll be happy if we can. There you go, see how that goes. Oh, we're starting to get fish now. There was a three. How is that looking? Looks like we're probably too far apart with a net opening, which isn't too bad. The distance between the doors. But we didn't get fish for long. They've got me a Seto Corsa, yeah, cool. Yeah, I did get a Seto Corsa on um, the PS4, which of course is different to a PC because I didn't have my steering wheel and that set up, but I didn't really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think once I've played iRacing, it's hard to go to anything else. Like Project Cars 1, I didn't really like. The AI is bloody terrible. Project Cars 2, it was good, but once again, the... the um, AI was absolutely terrible. Whenever it rains, like they would just absolutely fly past you. When it was dry, you'd fly past them. So it was a bit of a mismatch there, unfortunately. But um, a lot of people that I know and have raced with and still do race with do love a Seto Corsa. It's just not something that I really enjoyed. It's good to get in and have a crack with something different, though. I think that's why I like Wreckfest so much. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah, you've got no worries, you just smash into anybody and it doesn't matter. Um, this little blob here, I think this is a whale. And we can't catch whales. Yeah, I've, once I got eye racing, yeah, I don't think I'd ever play anything else. It is, and I know a lot of people have complained about iRacing and they're going to bring the new um, single player system in iRacing. Um, which I don't know if it's 100% true, it's just rumours that I've heard. So you'll be able to race against AI. Which I think is a great feature because a lot of people um, who want to get on and race don't want to ruin other people's races. So if they've got the opportunity to go and race against AI and learn how to control their car and, and you know race properly, then it'll give them more confidence that they'll be able to race against other people online, against real people. So I think it's only going to benefit iRacing. And there's obviously going to be people out there that don't want to race online. So they're going to open up a whole new market and bring in a lot more money for iRacing itself, which will benefit us guys that have been around for... For me, I've been around for nearly seven years on iRacing. So it's going to benefit us when they're getting more money in so they can... Um, scan more cars and more tracks and all that sort of stuff so it's going to be really good might slow us down a little bit again we're not we're not catching much fish this is part of the game that really frustrates me like you just for a boat that's got a huge amount of storage 600,000 or 700,000 storage um, we're not catching hardly anything like, how long is it going to take us to fill this up? Absolutely forever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are doing it. I think 
Ronnie will probably know more than me, but I'm pretty sure they are doing it, which is going to be awesome. For those people that obviously, you know, want to just try racing and not actually race against real people, which that was always me. Um, like, I used to always race Gran Turismo and Formula One and all those games. I never, ever raced online until iRacing. So, and I only stumbled across iRacing on YouTube one day randomly. Yeah, I think, considering Australia's playing a huge part in the dirt community at the moment, um, probably not as much as the Americans, of course, but we are playing a huge part in the iRacing dirt community and we are really, really fast. Um, they need to sort of come to the party a little bit with some Australian tracks and um, maybe something a little bit different. I mean, everything we've got here, they've got in the States, so maybe scan our our super sedans or something along those lines you know scan something that you only see in Australia so hopefully um, you know bring it to iRacing for everybody to use would be awesome one thing I definitely want to see on iRacing which I've, which I've wanted for ages is NASCAR Legends you know like the old original you know 70s 60s and 70s NASCARs you know Dale Earnhardt and Kyle Petty and all that sort of stuff it's going to be, it'll be awesome to bring back the old school NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR pit stops are out for the full animation. Yeah, the new pit stop system in NASCAR is absolutely awesome, but you can only see it during replay, I think. But I have seen it and it is absolutely amazing. I think I'm just going to bring these nets in because this is getting beyond a joke. Yeah, an Aussie class. I've always thought they need to bring the Australian V8 supercars, not the V8 supercars, but Australian um, V8 utes, but now unfortunately our V8 ute series is gone, now we've got the V8 super utes, which some of you guys that live in other countries may know, like the cars we're going to have the Volkswagen Amarok, um, the Mazda BT50, the Holden Colorado, um, I think there's another, Nissan Navara, they're going to be like our new super ute series, diesel diesel powered utes so, or trucks it's going to be awesome it's going to be great once it actually finally happens which should be starting pretty soon I think once the Eclipse of 500 gets underway not sure on the exact dates of that but shouldn't be too far away now, it's really amazing it doesn't matter what game I stream we always seem to come back to iRacing which I'm fine with that I did have a plan on streaming a bit of iRacing at some stage, but it's just a little bit hard to be able to stream because the races only go for so long. You know, for me to stream for two, three or four hours on iRacing, you're only going to see, you know, like four races and two hours of practice, so. Oh, in the car? Okay, yeah, I've, I don't know, Ronnie, I haven't actually, I think I did it in a practice session, so. But it only shows your crew, not everyone's crew, I think. But I haven't, I haven't driven um, any oval stuff for a long time. That used to be all I did. I used to only drive oval, and that was it. That's why my, um, when dirt came out, my dirt eye rating was so high because my oval eye rating was like above four thousand or three and a half thousand or whatever it was. But now I'm still sort of struggling to get my eye rating up, my dirt rating up. Oh, come on. I need to get some more fish out of this. Not going to get a great deal, I don't think. Going to um, head a different way now. Might head to the north. There we go, pump some more fish in. Uh, so that's 40, 60,000. Isn't too bad. Still got a little bit more to go. So we'll turn our boat around. Head north a little way and then we'll um, set the nets again. We'll set the, the trawl. So unfortunately we can't actually see if there's any fish around I don't think. 
like that doesn't change there's no like live sonar until you've actually got the net out all right let's slow us down hammering through at 23 knots we'll um, set the nets now Just a little bit of speed, but I'm going to try and get these as deep as we can. Looks like we've dropped right on top of a school of fish, which will be good. If we can get the speed of the boat down quick enough, we should be able to get a fair bit out of this. Or not. Ah, well. This game is um, frustrating. How low can your net go? Um, I think it's 500 metres the length of the doors, the length of the rope from the back of the boat to the doors. I'm not sure depth wise. We can have a look though. We'll, um, I'll just let the nets go and um, hold down for as long as we can and um, see how far it goes. But you can drag it, you should be able to drag it right along the bottom. Jason Jacoby uh, in YouTube for iRacing. No, I haven't seen him. I might have to check him out actually. If you got a link, Mitch, just put the link in the chat and um, everyone else can check, check him out as well. It should, the comment should go through straight away. If not, I might have to approve it, but that's fine. Right, so we're getting a little bit of fish, which is pretty good. And that's still going down. Getting three in the fish department there is number three so it's not too bad but of course nine's better and then it goes to zero even though it looks like as you can see there between our two doors there's a school of fish that's straight up and down there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting fish now for so you guys that are unsure this dot here is actually our boat this really dark one here so once all this stuff goes you'll see it's just our boat Yeah, I don't know how if that really works like that, Ronnie, unfortunately, but hopefully it would, but... I mean, there'll be schools of fish, like, I th as far as I was aware, mackerel stays on the bottom. But, so maybe I'm wrong, I thought mackerel stayed along the bottom of the of, of the ocean, so... Uh, my clearance is... only 148. Oh, there we go, we're on some fish now. Now we're off fish again. See, that's, I just don't get it how it goes from 0 to 7 to 0 so quick. They either need to make this a little bit easier, or the schools of fish a lot bigger. So we're on the fish now, which is good, very good. Or even have, you know, like an outline of where our doors are, maybe where like the net is, so we can sort of help target where we are. But this just doesn't seem to be right for me, for some reason. I mean, I could be the one doing it wrong, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem right. So we bump the speed back into it a little bit. Try and still get our nets down. So our clearance is 120. And it's dropping, but it's not dropping that quick. I want to get right down to the bottom. You guys probably can't see, but there's a big a big school here, just off to the behind this chat, so. Remove any web address and try again. Oh, right, it doesn't matter. I might see if I can find him. And I'll put a link in, hopefully. Guys, thanks so much for coming along on a room Oops. tour with me. Uh, the NASCAR room in the simulator. I'm assuming this is him.
Yeah, I think this is it. Let's see if I can put it in. There we go. Should be what you're after. So we're still not getting a lot of fish. It's shitting me up the wall. We're at the stage where we're gonna have to just bite the bullet and head back to head back to town. It's probably quicker for us to just bloody use the old boat and catch cod. Just gonna give it full throttle, bugger it, see what happens. Try and keep our net going down. Just not gonna, I don't think. I think it's probably gonna start rising up because we're going so fast. Yeah, it's not really dropping, but. Now, opening staying the same, but you can see our doors look like they're coming together there. Still trying to get our net to go down, but it's not going to go down because we're going too quick. Or it is going down, but it's going to go down very, very slow. Still yet to find the bloody optimal trawling method, which is a little bit annoying. I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of guides available, but there's none that I've really seen um, that really explain explain it overly well. It's like a trawling basics, but it's. I've read through all that and that hasn't really helped me a great deal, which is a little bit annoying, so. Oh well. We're not getting a lot of fish at the moment, we're getting absolutely nothing. So I'm not sure you guys can't see, but it looks like the ocean rises up a little bit at times. I think we're just gonna start hauling the net in and just hope. Oops, all these guys are still out here working. Hopefully, um, we'll get some stuff on the way up to fill us up. But there's no reason why, you know, it should take this long to get a full net. It shouldn't take this long. Like in real life, it might take a few hours, but um, for a game, they probably should make it a little bit quicker. I'm just going to quickly check something. No, oh, I'm not. It's just a YouTube notification, which is nothing exciting. See, we're still getting absolutely nothing. It's really frustrating. I think if I don't start getting something soon, I'm just going to end the stream and take a quick break and then um, maybe come back with some Kingdom Come Deliverance, something I'm actually enjoying playing. This is sort of, while I enjoy this, it's bloody frustrating at the same time. I was really um, looking forward to the whole trawling thing, but it's been just really frustrating. I would have thought it would have been a little bit easier than this. Um, thanks for having me, Bruto. It's almost 3 a.m. here. Gotta get some sleep. Definitely need sleep, mate, especially if you got to work. And you're definitely gonna need sleep for the new new week of I racing tomorrow. Well, today for you, but tomorrow for me. Which I think we're up to week 12. I might have to have, have a quick look, actually. Um, I think it's week 12. Yeah, week 12 tomorrow. So we're going to try and get some more um, iRacing stuff recorded tomorrow. I didn't do any this week at all. Um, I was just, to be honest, I was busy with Kingdom Come Deliverance, um, with work and a lot of other stuff going on. 
outside of work and gaming so I um, didn't get a lot of time to race I just really wasn't in the right frame of mind to race to be honest I do go through a lot of ups and downs um, with gaming and stuff no it's week 12 tomorrow Um, yeah, I do go through a lot of ups and downs with gaming and just stuff in general, to be honest. Um, a lot of people, well, a lot of people in my family in, in my life don't even realise that I'm somebody that suffers from depression and anxiety issues, um, which I have, I am started, starting to be medicated for for the last eight months or so, ten months, I think. Um, so I think that's what, YouTube was a big step for me. Um, a big step for me to be able to do this YouTube thing because I, in the back of my mind I'm like worried that you know what if people don't like it what if people think I'm an idiot blah 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 but I sort of um, comes that realisation where if people don't like me then unsubscribe and don't watch I really don't care like there's always going to be people in your life that don't like you and that you're not really fond of either so you just, just avoid watching their stuff or talking to them or whatever you know but um I mean, it, there's only four people watching at the moment. If any of you guys are ever feel like you're suffering from depression or anxiety or anything like that, just go and seek help from your doctor. I know um, it's the best thing I ever did. Definitely feel a lot better for it. Um, and don't be afraid to talk to someone about it. Like it's, I reckon everybody at some stage in their life will suffer from depression or anxiety. Obviously, some worse than others. Um, some will might only suffer depression or anxiety for a week and not even know it others might suffer it for the whole entire life but you know there's always always someone out there willing to help even me like I'm I'm doing a lot of stuff with um, my workplace where I'm trying to help other people that might be suffering from anxiety and depression issues as well so you know there's always someone there that someone out there that's going to help you if your doctor won't you know if you guys ever need someone to talk to you can talk to me as well or, you know check out my Facebook page and send me a message um, I do have a discord set up I just don't have it linked in any of my descriptions yet but I'm definitely going to uh, pull my finger out and get Discord done so I can jump in there and chat with you guys live at times as well but yeah definitely don't be afraid to, to reach out and ask for help um, let's get my 360 in this week for Mitch yeah I haven't done 360s for ages this season all I've done is tree stocks and late models which has been good Yeah, I think a lot of people only race to about week eight because you only get the eight weeks that count running, which is which is a good thing. So it gives you weeks off. But um, when you're fighting for a title, which I haven't for a while, but when I was fighting for my Division One title in street socks, I raced every single week just in case I could get one little result to get to even gain one point or five points or ten points to help me get ahead a little bit more. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, so Mitch has been suffering from depression as well for four years and made him heaps better. Yeah, well, I've, to be honest, like I've spoke to my parents about it and um, and they believe I've pretty much suffered from depression for the last 15 years or 20 years. I'm 32. 30, yeah, I'm 32. <laughs> I always get confused how old I am. I'm um, 32, so they reckon I've suffered from depression for more than um, half my life. And I finally put my hand up and asked for help um, and I haven't felt better for a long time, so... It's good to see, um, but Mitch is on Lovin. Uh, I'm on Simbolta, so I'm not sure what the difference is. I've got to be pretty careful with what I take due to work because um, the trucks that I drive and working the 12 and a half hour shifts and stuff, I can't afford to um, have anything that makes me drowsy. So I've got to be pretty careful there. But yeah, Ronnie's been in the lakes and street stocks. Yeah, that's me too. I want to get back into the sprint cars. I just I don't know, I've just been having so much more fun in the late models and um, street stocks and hopefully next season they will improve the street stocks a little bit but um, they're still pretty good at the moment but yeah Mitch, you, just, you pretty much just need a good street stock setup I think they're completely different to drive to anything else they're probably the easiest thing to drive but they're also you know, pretty hard as well once you get your head around them they're pretty good So Ronnie's Division 7 leading Supers, Limiteds and Class C straight stuff. That's, that's good, mate. Very good. I don't think I'm close to winning anything this season. I haven't I said I haven't really bothered to race properly and with 
Um, unfortunately, us being in a different time zone, like when I want to race during the day, like when I, I should be racing during the day to race against all the Americans, sometimes I can't race during the day. Then when I go to race of a night time, like now, all the Americans are asleep. So it's sort of, it's hard for me to to get any sort of title. Um, the sprints are a handful for Ronnie here. They are. They, they definitely are. It's going from a late model to a sprint car is absolutely crazy because the late models and straight stocks take so much effort to turn in corners and um, pretty much the sprint cars don't. You barely turn the wheel at all. You usually use your throttle to drive it off the right rear. Oh, right, Mitch. Who did you drive for before? Yeah, I think once we had that whole new I rating, um, dirt oval rating change up or shake up this season, everyone's in the wrong division. If you didn't race week 13 to get your I rating up, you're pretty much in the wrong division, which I didn't either. So I think I'm Div 7. I'll have to have a look, actually. You guys probably lose in game sound, but it's only the Seagulls making stupid noises, so. I think I'm. um. Division 7. I think I'm, yeah, I'm 78th overall in s the World of Outlaws. And Street Stocks, the Rookie Series, I'm 69th overall. I'm not sure. Division, okay, Division 5. So a little bit higher than you, but... Oh, the Dingo Pack. Okay, yeah, definitely know them. You're not driving for anyone now, though, are you? The non-wings are fun. The midgets are fun, and the non-wing sprint cars are a lot of fun, but I couldn't drive the non-wing sprint cars. I was absolutely shocking at them. See how we go with this catch. Hopefully it's better than the last one, because it's been bloody shit. Terrible. I think we might go back to... um. Go back to port. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's like another 100,000, 110,000. Right, you can continue to cook. You guys can go back here. And we can return to port. Well, not port, but this map anyway. Um, head back down. Fast travel. Is it going? Yep, it's going. It's usually sound though, and I can't hear a thing. Um, yeah, definitely give you a run for your money, but you give me a run for my money too, don't you worry. I'm usually pretty good in um, the late models on that, but I still, still the people out there are a lot quicker than me, and I think, it's like I'm, oops, I'm driving my absolute ass off, and people are still quicker, and I'm like, I don't, just don't know how they can be that quick when I'm absolutely, like, you know, flying my ass off. I think that's the Hermes there, actually. Looks like the Hermes. So we'll just slowly move in to port here. Turn our ship to the right, try not to smash into the dock. Which we will, possibly. Unless we press dock now, and then we won't. So we can get the Pollock between 842,000 and 5.8 million, between 1.3 million for mackerel and 4 million. So sell, and we got 6 million. So we got 6.2 million dollars. Let's have a look. Um, ah, we haven't got enough to pay off our debt yet. Close, but not close enough. Um, some more people we can hire, which we don't need to. This is a guy we had before, which I got rid of because he was 7% rate. It was a bit expensive. Um, fish market we don't need to go to. We can go to the dock and repair or refuel. It costs a lot of money. Uh, repair the hole. We can repaint the boat because I think it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks a little bit rough. Not that you can really see overly well. Um, so upgrades. We've still got this upgrade available here. Ten million to upgrade another plus. 
500,000, which we don't need. We can't fill the bloody boat as it is, so it's not really worth it. Um, we come in here. So this is the Vebec Katrin that we had before. Now we've got the Lunar Bow, which is 14 million. And this is the Hermes. So modern freeze trawler used for bottom trawling. The ship is rigged for fishing cod, pollock, haddock, and redfish. Um, so the Lunar Bow is a pelagic trawling. It's for, rigged for fishing mackerel, but also we get pollock as well. But So that's what we're going to go for next. It's actually a pretty good looking ship. Hopefully... Um, Good night, Ronnie. Thanks for stopping by, mate. Um, hopefully we can get that soon. We need another, like, 9 million. So it's still going to take a long time. So in that hour that we've been here, we gained a little bit of money. 6 million. You can see all my other sales haven't been that great. 4 million, 4 million. 4.52, I think. Yeah, that was when we had out the Becky Kathleen. I think I went back to that. And then here we're trawling. So I've done a lot of trawling off camera that you guys haven't actually seen. So had a lot of stuff. Um, so Mitch is yeah, not driving very well at the moment. Um, mate called Dane Bent, Bent Velzen. I do know that name. It's the fastest man in the world in them, and that helps me out with the set. So that's good. At least you got someone to help you. That's the hardest thing um, when you're you're not in a team, and you know you're pretty quick, but you just don't have that setup to get you across the line a little bit to help out. It's definitely easier when you're. Um, I don't know, not let me undock. There we go. It's definitely a lot easier when you've got someone that can help you with setups because it does make things a whole heap easier for you. Um, so quotas are up to like 2 tonne, 2.2 tonne mackerel. Actually 1.2 million tonnes of mackerel I should say. Pollock even. And 354 tonnes of mackerel we've got so far. So alrighty guys, I know there's four guys in here but um, I think I've had enough of fishing Barrett Sea for tonight. Um, I might go and take a quick break, um, do a few things around here and come back and do some Kingdom Come Deliverance, I think. So um, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you all stopping by and uh, having a bit of a chat, even though our chat went from Fishing Barrett Sea to iRacing, but hey, whatever. Um, as I said, I'll come back with Kingdom Come Deliverance. We will um, continue to follow the quest line. I think I'm going to do majority of the... Um, side quests and activities off camera just do it myself and then i'll probably come back and do just the questing stuff on live streaming and that sort of thing so you guys aren't overly bored i definitely want to finish this game and maybe start another one i want to do like a thief a thief um with a lot lighter armor so we just go around every night time and just break into people's houses steal all their stuff and sell it you know just become a thief and just rob absolutely everyone um but yeah, as I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hopefully you guys can hit the like button there for me. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, it's been Brudos Gaming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in our next live stream.